seems a long while since we talked to Matty Fry. Um, Matty, uh, we'll talk about the game first before we talk about you. What did you make of it today? So it's obviously going to be a difficult game coming to Anfield and the goals we conceded were poor. Obviously set players and then in the end they had a few chances but I think the goals we conceded it's unlike this side. Um, and then it's obviously difficult once you go a goal behind. But I think we'll be disappointed on the goals we conceded and then, like I say, the game got stretched then. But it's one of them and we've been solid all season at the back and obviously it's a difficult task coming to Anfield and trying to get anything out of the game but it didn't help obviously conceding two goals from set plays. Yeah, the first one corner, you had a down. There seemed to be enough bodies there to clear it. Was there a bit of confusion? I think it was. It was obviously a good leap by their player and uh, something we've obviously the team's done really well on obviously defending and also against set players and everything but it was just a bit poor from our point of view and it was obviously uh, the lift they needed and they went in obviously 1-0 up at the break and then obviously the seat. the second is a brilliant free kick and there's not too much you can do about it but was it was it a slack free kick to give away is that what you're saying in terms of yeah it was yeah. but obviously uh, we know that and but the free kick itself was exquisite yeah We've not talked to you for a long while. I know it's been a bit of a struggle fitness-wise and getting back, but you've got back, you got a goal on Saturday. What was that like for you? Yeah, tremendous. Obviously, uh, could ask for more, really, coming on 4-0 up. And then uh, Tom strikes a free kick from God knows how long out and drops to me from uh, the crossbar I couldn't miss. OK. And you'd been out on Sheffield Wednesday, uh, on loan at Sheffield Wednesday. That, from the outside, looked to have gone well. How much are you enjoying that? Yeah, it went really well. Um, obviously it's completely different to the Premier League but something I needed at the time I weren't sure if I needed it but looking back it was totally what I needed I needed to kick up the backside and go out get some fitness games regularly and uh, score some goals and I managed to do that and obviously I wish Sheffield Wednesday the best best luck in the world and it was what I needed to be honest Why did you need to kick up the backside? Did you lost a bit of motivation? Or? Well Training all the time, not playing, not around benches, you're looking at others coming in and you're not going anywhere and you've missed a year of football before then. I needed to do it but at the same time I was thinking where am I going to go and do it mm -hmm. and it just came out of the blue sort of thing and yeah, obviously looking back now I really needed it. I couldn't just go along in the season not doing anything and that's what I was doing and it was the best thing for me. Mm. So what for you now, there's talk of other clubs being interested in you, what do you want to happen? Obviously, just want to play my part, and like today, I was pleased to get a good a good run out. It was, I'd say it was a good 30 minutes, um, and now, and obviously, give them the chance. I want to perform well and do the best I can whilst I'm obviously at Hull City. All right. Are you likely to move in this January transfer window? What do you, What do you know? I don't. I'm like I say, I'm getting my head down. I'm grateful for the opportunity I got given at West Brom. And then the home game the other day was tremendous, and to get that goal and then to play it places like this I want to be part of it but I have to wait and see I'm just trying to do the best when I get a chance.